friends, Tana here from the Academic Dawn at Chancellor's House. Um, I've had quite a few people contacting me, asking me, how does Blackboard work? I'm having a lot of trouble with Blackboard, so I thought I'd just make a quick little video, as quick as I can make it, um, that you can use to your own resource. Um, if you already know how to use Blackboard, feel free to not watch this. I just want to be as helpful as possible this year. Um, so here we go with the video. So we're going to start on Blackboard's main page. So you see the blue button here. This is where your courses are going to show up. Um, and all of your courses are in a drop down bar here. We're going to be using my romantics class as an example today. So as you click onto your course, you're starting the course summary and you'll have a drop down bar with all of these lovely selections to choose from. This drop down bar will be your saving grace this year as it holds all of the important information for your classes. As you can see, we're in course summary right now. We're going to be moving on to the course outline. This is essentially your syllabus for the course. Your professor can also include the syllabus on it, but this particular professor has bro broken it down here for us. Um, on to the next moment, we'll see some course policies and cautions. This will also be included in the syllabus. And then your course readings. So it's all broken down there, so you can read ahead if you want. Um, and then we'll see actually course content. So my professor here is posting a week by week schedule. Um, and then also on the drop down bar, you see your assignments. So that includes drop boxes and just general assignment information. Moving on is journal entries and also discussion posts. This is really important to communicate with your other classmates, even on a virtual basis, which is super interesting and fun. On to collaborate. I know a couple students have had issues with this one, but as soon as it pops up here, very easy to follow along. And then the announcement section. So in case your professor has anything important to say, and you also have a lovely calendar here and also a test section where they can post midterms, exams, all those fun things like that. Another important thing on the drop down bar is your tech support and your help and your how to's. It's always at the bottom. Um, those are very resourceful, especially if you don't have those specific items on your board, especially collaborate, because I feel like that's going to be one thing that the professor is going to use the most. I hope this was a little bit more resourceful. Um, and if you do have any more questions, you can feel free to Facebook message me if it's a little short one or if you just need a little bit extra help and want to schedule a meeting, you can always go to academicdawn at nipissingu.ca. That's my email. I respond fairly quickly and I hope to see you soon.